Alrighty, boom, what is up? Another video here on the Bachelor Channel. Welcome back and glad you guys are tagging along. So today we're gonna do some small fishing, um, catfish and whatnot. Last night we went out, caught some catfish, had a little fish fry this morning. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon now, waiting for that sun to kind of creep down and see what we can get. We are going to spool up these two buttes right here. This is the Luz Pro Mag that my girlfriend got for my birthday. I gotta put some line on that. And then this is the Luz Mach 2 spinning combo. I gotta put some fresh line on it. Had 12 pound floral on it there for a while when we were fishing North Georgia. But now that we're gonna be fishing Alabama and more central Florida, we are going to put some 50 or 30 pound braid on it and get ready to put some leaders on it. So I was able to check mail this morning and did get the package of the four spools of Suffix Performance Braid that I had ordered. This is by far my favorite line. I like this stuff a lot. Best price that I can say for line wise. And uh, I really enjoy how like long this, this color lasts. You know, the Power Pro and other lines that I've used, the line color fades really quick or the braid is kind of not a good circular pattern. It likes to stick to itself a lot. But this Suffolk stuff I've been enjoying quite a bit. I've actually been fishing this. The first braided line I ever fished back when I was like 10 years old. And somebody had showed it to me. And I've pretty much fished it ever since. So I like this stuff a lot. Appreciate the fast shipping there from Suffolk. So it was, took about three days to get it here from, I think this, this package came from Minnesota. So Minnesota, Georgia, three days. Pretty good stuff. So everyone has like their own strategy. I mean, most of the time that I spool up, most of the time that I spool up braid, I always put a backing. I don't like running just spray braid. I think it really helps the, that spool to stick to itself. So running a braid, anytime I'm running braid, I always do a backing. I think it helps to keep that braid from sticking and clumping up to itself. All right, now we can load up this. So got a little bit of backing there. Get about a quarter of that spool. We'll tighten this up. That came out beautiful, spooled right on that. Bam, got the Mach 2. So I have my other Mach 2 set up, as you've seen in some of the vlogs, that I kept with the 12 pound fluoro. And I've got a new new rod that this bad boy is going on. I'm excited to get this thing out in the water too. All right, so hashtag <laughs> weird transition continues. I'm actually heading out here now doing some straight urban angling, walking with a backpack, tackle box, chest cam, some baits, and we're going to try to catch some catfish. So I just set up a little a little drop shot rig here for these catfish, a little octopus hook on a nice little 1,000 size ugly stick. Dug this thing up from the shed back home, use some of these Tyson chicken livers and see what it will, will do for us. Oh, looks like we might have a catfish on first flip. That was literally the first flip out there. Little channel cat. Not a bad size. Tiny little guy. Small little channel, about 14 inches. Get him back in there then. You know, cool to watch them swim. I don't get to see catfish swim a lot. Alright, you gotta like the urban fishing. I don't get to do this kind of stuff very often. So I'm not fishing very far out and I'm kind of using my bag as a prop for my rod so I can just kind of watch the slack of the line dip out. And I haven't really been filming too much because I've been fishing with a ton of buddies lately. I've been, you know, trying to hang out and have a good time with everybody. So I decided to come back and see what we could do and we're going to figure out what we can do with these things. So this is the beautiful stuff I'm using. Now it's pretty, it's pretty frozen and it's essentially just a big block of chicken liver. You can see it's just real appetizing looking. <laughs> and I'm not used to the whole urban fishing format, walking through woods. I'm out here in the rain now, but that's the struggle of getting these, these films out. And I'm not used to the whole casting and sitting. And a lot of these lakes around here that I'm trying to find the catfish at, you know, I know they look for, you know, more brush, harder bottoms, things of that nature. I mean, I know that, so 
I found pretty much one of the only sand spots around the whole lake that's not covered in grass. I'm gonna try to keep digging around. The rain's coming down, so hopefully I don't get run off the water two trips in a row filming. That ain't a bad cat right there. It's a 16, 17 incher. I mean, come on, give me some credit here, y'all. <laughs> Well, there's channel number two. Well, I apologize for the utter uh, poop show of filming I'm doing right now. I've, I've got this chicken liver that I'll sit out there for a little bit, and before I can get any of the cameras set up on me, I see the line pop, and the last like three I've missed, so I let that one kind of eat it and kind of hooked him in the top, almost like the top back of his mouth. It was really weird, it was on like the roof. Throw another piece of this stuff on. Kind of got it figured out. So for you channel cat guys, you kind of have to cover the hook, huh? They kind of feel it first. I kept getting bites and I would hide the, I'm finally hiding the hook point into the liver and I'm getting good bites. The other thing is I'm also not casting very far. I'm keeping the, the bait within 20 yards out there. I've tried really far cast, I'm not getting any bit. And as soon as I bring it right to where the sand begins, right off that grass, seems to be where they're biting. Go. Next hookup. It's going in sideways. There you go. This thing's going crazy. Alright. Why do these things eat it so good? <laughs> Alright, I need to start getting better video of these. I'm telling you, I have no time. All I'm trying to do is get, look, I have it set up right here, a memory card into my GoPro. But they're, they're, fight, they're biting it so good. I mean, I left the camera rolling. I didn't even restart it. I do gotta say, they are pretty cool and f different fish to catch. I've never really done this kind of bite before, so, it's, so this is two hours. We are set to go. Let's catch some more catfish. This is pretty fun. The uh, chicken liver is really doing its job. Um, as I explained before, I kind of have it figured out. Dang it, lost my split shot. So I went back to like my carpins thing, so I was like, you know what? I think channel cats feel the hook, and then they drop the bait. So I've been covering the entire hook. I mean, it's a small little octopus hook meant for wacky rigging, and then just covering the whole thing. So here's my old catfish setup. I've got 30 pound braid that I showed you spooling up on the Mach 2 reel. Then I've got the Mach 2 rod. It's so a 6.9 medium heavy because a decent rod definitely doing the job. Definitely beating the micro. The micro is almost like too small. It makes it fun for catfishing, but you miss a lot of the bites. Like the micro is almost too small. I'm like missing the fish. The rod's doubling in half. I can feel it cracking away as I reel in the dang catfish. Just sit here and hit them with some, some bait, some stink bait. I didn't even really chum them up. I threw a couple pieces out there and about as soon as the raindrops stopped falling, it was when they started biting and the mosquitoes are staying heavy. Listen, I know, you don't have to leave like comments talking about my transition suck. That's so weird. That's like my specialty. You guys should know that I barely ever close out a video at this spot because my luck, something always runs me off the lake before I can do like a close out. So this time, the excuse for this, I ran off to the back side of the lake where this creek begins thinking that maybe that, that water with all the rain that we've been having through that sewer would have good amounts of cast but it didn't didn't really have anything and the GoPro I stopped for like 10 minutes to to check on the GoPro footage that was garbage the GoPro picks up low light so horribly and so terribly that I couldn't even I can't even use that footage so I didn't even put it in. I'm not even gonna make you guys squint to even think about what I'm doing in the video the mosquitoes tore us up pretty much ran us off the water came down the road here and what do you think I came to eat Boom, that is right, the old awful house. Take away that W. Glorious old waffle house. So I'm gonna run in there, get the old all-star special, slam a waffle with some eggs and everything. And we'll catch you right back here, and we'll do a professional, good closeout for you guys so you understand that this is the most professional fishing channel that you could watch. I don't know, I'm telling you, I just, some things just, when I'm out there on the water, I don't really pre-plan when I end videos, like, any other time that I'm fishing, vlogging, anything, I don't have a set time when I'm ending. Like, I could be out on the boat with Ricky or, you know, Jake, Lane, Gunner. I could be out on the water with whomever. 
But we don't go out there and we're like, all right, guys, 2.30, we're going to, at 2.35, we're going to get on the camera and do a closeout. No. Um, if whenever the weather permits, then we shut down. Um, sometimes I wait until I get back to the house to close out. So if, for most, most of you guys know that. Most of you guys have been, you know, what I call the OG subscribers. You've been around a couple of years. You know how that works. I haven't changed that since 2009 when I came on here. But for some of you newer guys here that have caught me as I've been back stateside, living here in Georgia, getting back fishing, uh, as this army life comes to a close, you guys kind of see these weird transitions. And I guess some people don't really understand them because I'll get questions and I guess you could say concerns. Every once in a while, people asking about, oh, you know, you always close your videos out so late, but it's just, it's kind of a, a unique part of what I do in these videos. So enough with the bladder and I'm going to eat, starving, and it's getting late. Still gotta get back, knock some stuff out, so I'll be back. Ah, what is up, Bay Nation? Look at this thing. Did it come on the... Can't catch a break around here. But what is up, Bay Nation? Glad you guys made it here to the end. Told you guys we'd get a little close out here when I got back to the room. You can see I got a ton of tackle knocked out, tons of organization going on, which really needed to be done a couple days ago. We got knocked out. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know we kind of hung out with the bass fishing rods for a little bit, but I had to do some exploring, had to go out there, do something different, show it to you all, show that little adventure that we had catfishing, and move on from there. With that being said, yes, I am going back out for the catfish. I'm going to try to catch a couple more. And yeah, I'm going to try to catch the biggest catfish that I've ever caught. Um, the biggest catfish my entire life. Actually, I started catching catfish before I started catching bass, believe it or not. But, which actually I think a lot of people do, but that's besides the point. But the biggest one I have caught, I think, was a, you know, we called them mud cats in Florida, but I think they're called brown or bullhead, depending on, I guess, where you come from in the country. But I think a bullhead and a brown catfish are two different species. This catfish I caught was about six pounds. So that's the biggest catfish I've caught. My buddy Garrett caught like a 14 pound channel. But, you know, I'm not a channel cat fisherman, nor am I a cat fisherman. So we will be getting back to the bass action. Got an awesome video with Garrett coming up here at the end of the week. Some awesome baits. Tons of fishing deals that I found. So I got to share all that stuff with you. So you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned here to the Bass Little Channel because there's a ton of awesome content coming your way. Can't thank you guys enough for tuning in today. And we'll see you guys right back here on the next video. Y'all get out there. Stay safe. Stay easy. Get out there. Catch some big fish. And we'll see you right back here. Y'all make sure you stay tuned to the Bass Your Fishing Instagram page as well. Where we can catch you there with all sorts of fishing action. You know, equipment, pictures, all that good stuff. So I'll take it easy. We'll see you guys soon. Appreciate it, guys. Talk to you later.